Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to meet all at last. Welcome back to HJN Season 2, and more importantly, welcome back to another marathoning session that I'm pretty much going to be putting into effect. And here, we're going to make things a bit more complex in a way, but hopefully not too much for you to understand. We got number 956 to start off with, though. Capsaicin. Capsaicin, as you know, is an alkaloid compound that is most commonly found in spicy foods, specifically hot peppers, including jalapenos, habaneros, ghost peppers, Carolina reapers, and many more. Capsaicin, of course, is this type of chemical that naturally occurs in these vegetables, but it's also responsible for giving a very famous sensation in the mouth and tongue as well as other such places in the body. It can affect a lot of senses, most likely due to the t sort of burning sensation that it makes. What it does is that it clings to the taste buds in the mouth and other parts, like the palate and gums. It creates a bit of a burning sensation, giving you the feeling that your mouth is in fact on fire. Your brain immediately reacts in many different ways. It produces a lot of extra saliva, but it also secretes a lot of mucus in case the spice were to get trapped up there, which sometimes does happen, especially depending on how huge the pungency of the capsaicin level can be at. But we can also n never forget the fact that I myself have had a huge share of having these sorts of products with capsaicin in it, a lot of capsaicin especially when going back on my channel over the past several years because there's been a lot of challenges dedicated to this kind of stuff and I feel like the timing is a bit perfect here for me to talk about this because after all four months ago is when the local super crazy spice extravaganza had taken place on this channel and I tell you throughout the last few weeks of August 2021 it was pretty incredible but just to know I managed to live through all of that is a whole different story. But then again, considering the fact that a lot of people have gone way higher than I pretty much have, I'm more than glad to be taking it a bit safer than usual. I may not be getting tens of millions of views on this kind of stuff, but I sure will, in fact, have a good time just having spicy foods at a relatively safe, modest level such as the finest Buffalo Wild Wings boneless wings, curry, Cajun jerk, or any such spice that is typically associated with wings. I can gladly have all of my own at any point in time. Well, you know what though? I'd say this was a pretty good start for today's marathoning session, but because today we're gonna have five things to talk about. So that means four more to go. And if you want to see more, go down on my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 